What's up you guys, Avery here, bringing you a video talking about what the heck happened at YCS Atlanta this weekend. Um, it came down to Zoo Zoo and more Zoo, but not as much Zoo as before. Um, top 8 featured 6 Zoo and 2 Paleozoic Frogs, and the winner of YCS Atlanta happened to be a guy by the name of Corey Roca, and he ended up winning with Paleozoic Frogs. He and another guy were playing Paleozoic Frogs in the top 8, everything else was Zoo, and this guy ended up winning. I did not read the final round feature match, I'm going to have to read that to see how he won, because honestly I'm quite curious, because... Yeah, if Paleozoic Frog were able to go first, they can really make a good board setup turn one. Usually, unless they brick. But of course, Zoo can make a very good turn one board as well. So I would think in that kind of matchup, it would just sort of come down to the die roll. But regardless, it was a 1,200 man event. Uh, nothing really too out of the ordinary happened this weekend. Nothing really too special to speak of. But I can't believe that Paleozoic Frog uh, won this, this event. Like, it just blows me away. Now... Something I did want to point out as well is that um, I was very surprised by all of the different zoo builds that we saw here. And yes, enjoy looking at all the people I'm subscribed to. Um, we saw obviously pure zoo, um, but then we also saw like 50 card metal foe zoo. We saw uh, undefeated in Swiss top 16 Mike Schmidt with Wind Witch invoked artifact uh, because this was the first big event that it that Wind Witches were um, legal. And then we also saw Zodiac Artifact with Crazy Text. I never watched the video, so you know I don't know how crazy it could actually be. Then we've got 60 card Paleozoic Zoo lawn mowing. That's very crazy. And then of course we got you know the Kaiju Zodiac Zodiac with insane main deck text. I would have to watch that and see what that is. But you know a tech is a tech, and it was nice and refreshing-ish to see um, the innovation that has happened from YCS Seattle to YCS Atlanta and how players have kind of adapted to this new format. And I think it's only going to continue to adapt until we eventually get a ban list probably once we hit uh, link summoning format. And then, of course, everything is going to obviously change. Um, but, I, again, I still like the fact that Lawn Mowing Next Door is, using, is being used in things besides Infernoid. And another thing, too, that I wanted to point out that I actually just realized um, was that in the top four here... Um, of course, we had Cody Roca at first place, and we had these other people here, but there was no, um, no Infernoid in the top eight. I just realized that, and I can't pull up the top eight here for whatever reason, but, um, there was no, uh, here it is, top eight pairings and decks. There was no Infernoid. Infernoid, like, did not show up at all. For this event, we just got Zoo versus Zoo, Zoo versus Paleo Frog, Kaiju Zoo versus Zoo, Paleo Frog versus Zoo. Like, Infernoid was nowhere here, and from what I've seen in the top 16 so far, there, there's there been no Infernoid, unless the card guys just haven't covered it yet. But, man, what happened to Zoo? Like, they've really kind of either A, fallen off the map, or just Paleo Frog and Zoo are able to play against the deck very well. Which is very surprising because, I mean, if you can hit lawn mowing in the deck, I mean, it's just busted. But, I mean, granted, that's, you know, with three left arm offering, it's only, you know, six copies out of a 60 card deck, but still. So, I just kind of wanted to make a short video talking about this event and what happened. And just kind of blows me away that Paleozoic Frog won, especially with only two people in the top eight playing it. And beating Zodiac, no less, and Infernoid just not showing up at all. Um... It's it's surprising, honestly. I, when I saw it being Paleozoic Frogs versus Zoo in the final match, I was like, man, uh, we're gonna probably see Zoo barely pull it out, and Paleozoic Frog be the second best deck, or you know maybe Paleozoic Frog will come out of nowhere. Um, but sure enough, it it came out of nowhere, and I'm actually very happy that it did. Um, other than that, pretty much everything else stayed the same. Unfortunately, like I said, there were some other techs as well, with like you know Metal Foe kind of showing up. Uh, some guys came undefeated in Swiss, all that fun stuff. But just want to make a short video talking about what the heck happened at YCS Atlanta. Uh, not too much to cover other than the fact that Paleozoic Frog came in first place. And, uh, you know, unfortunately Zoo didn't come in first place because I am a Zoo player, so I prefer to see it come in first place. But regardless, it's still a great deck. And, of course, Paleozoic Frog is a very good deck as well. But that's pretty much it I have for the... I can't even do my outro. That's pretty much it for this video, you guys. If you enjoyed, please be sure to hit that like button and or favorite. It helps me out tremendously. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be part of the hashtag no vacation squad guys and thank you so much for watching we're going to be at a thousand subscribers soon sitting at 700 and subscribe if you have not already